This nigga sitting here like, man, I don't know what the fuck that happened. <laughs> hey, man, get serious, man. Let's go to work. It's time, man. It's time. I'm just soaking old gas. It's time, man. The black market is open, man. The black market is open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Act like you know that. You know what this bell mean, Chico? What the bell mean? Big money. Oh, yeah. I Come on. Like Come on, man. It's like the one they ring at the dial when the money come in right there. Yes, sir. Boom, boom. We take pointers from the greats. All the way. Now, you don't get to be in the black market a lot, but it's jumping over here. All the way. We don't I had bring, to come. They you know, won't bring I'm nothing coming. but some of the coldest through the black market, All bro. All the way. I, you know, we was here when we kicked it off, and this kid's still going. Entrepreneurs, architects, people that write books. Artists. Artists, people who specialize in, you know, great culinary. We had florists. Oh, you know man. what I mean? We find black people that do everything. Everything. And this guest that we got with us today, he just as great as the rest of them. But what'd he do? Tell me what he He's do. a rapper. Okay. He's a filmmaker. Okay. He's an engineer. Okay. Uh, 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 he's, he does everything that black people do. Yeah. He's, he's what you call a universal. He might be Jamaican with all them jobs. Girl, he's so, and he's good at it, too. So good that they call him Tone the Goat. Did you know that? I know it now. Did you know that? Tone, welcome to the Black Market it, slash Trap Appreciate slash 85 South Show Appreciate slash, it. you know, a meeting of the mind. Yeah. How you been? Man, I'm, I'm blessed to be here, man. I, I hear you got a lot of good things going on in the city. Yeah. Uh, he wrote the movie Water Boys and yeah. directed it oh, with Boozy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. It's also the in-house engineer over yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, word. Yeah. Also so, has a film and a record out over there. I told you he's a goat. All the way. So what got you in the, what, what was first? Uh, the music was first. Um, man, I, be, I I got my first song on the radio um, in high school, so. What was it? We're about to bring it back. <laughs> it's called it's called The Jerk. It's not the one um, from Cali. It was before that, but uh, it was called, it was a dance song. It was during the snap era okay. in Atlanta. And, um, you know, uh, that was how that was how that popped all off. You know, uh, I had five scholarships off, offers at the time, um, three in baseball and two in art. And uh, I turned it all down to do music. And I told myself um, when I made that commitment, because I knew my parents weren't going to be satisfied or happy. Uh, they actually kicked me out after that. But uh, I told myself I, I was going to keep pushing. And, um, it was it, it had to work because I knew what I was turning down to do it. You know, yeah. but uh, that's what I wanted to do. And um, been doing it ever since. Are you from Atlanta? Yeah, born and raised. OK. Yeah, yeah. DC, one of my good partners, man. We came up together. Yeah. That's what's up. He been crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He been, he been wild. <laughs> since day one. Mm hmm That's what's up, G. Well, congratulations on everything, bro. You don't regret the baseball shit. You made plenty of strides since then. Nah, that was my <laughs> that was my pop's dream, man. He put me in that early baseball, boring as shit, man. That's now when you, man, man, when you get you get three <laughs> scholarships, man, that ain't you yeah, wasn't no was slouch. Good. I tell people all the time, I, I don't see no baseball player living like the rappers that I look up to or the most. Shit, the right they one. living yeah. way better. <laughs> That's because you yeah. don't get to see them names. Which one y'all think? All shit. The, who hosts man, and I, all them names? I bet y'all post up a debate and they pull up the real, like, because I look at the baseball contracts, you'll get like 300 M's for like 10 years. You know what I'm saying? You break it down per year, they ain't not getting paid with what these quarterbacks getting, or what they definitely not the ball players. The man, guaranteed player. money, though. I got you. Okay. That's the difference in baseball. We're not what, trying to make you go back yeah, and try it again, yeah. but yeah, I'm nah, just saying. I don't know what drugs this young man has been on. <laughs> I don't want that. Uh, <laughs> and, it, and it was boring, man. I like, I like feet. I like females, and the females I like never like going to the baseball games. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nigga, not for free. Yeah, <laughs> you get three hundred million. That bitch yeah. ain't missing no game. Yeah. It's just being all one hundred and eighty-two oh, games. What? 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 Nah, salute. Salute. What court is it? Baseball, baseball. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's the eight eight corner, nigga, no you get money like that, your girl will be in the <laughs> your girl be in the stands correcting people. No, that's the shortstop. Uh huh. Yeah, my man, he had played center field. 
and she, he alternates. She doesn't know the whole game. You getting 300 M. So you say you got your, first, what grade was you in when your song got on the radio? Uh, 11th going at 12th. Woo! You know? And so it was you had crazy. a whole year being on the radio in high school? Yeah, yep, yep, yep. My, oh, uh, man. Yeah, it was, I was on the Billboard charts and everything, man. It, the song peaked at number four, but it was being pushed to like the uh, pop market. When I first came out, I didn't have no cussing in my um, raps. I didn't have dreads. I was clean cut, you know. Why are you even, start I, cussing? <laughs> now nah, we I just fucking with you, dog. Man, you my grandma, well, I got a, I got a potty mouth. I just wasn't cussing in the raps, yeah. you know. Yeah, but uh, the, the marketing scheme they had for it was pushing it towards that market. So um, it was on the billboard charts and stuff, and, like, the teachers knew about it, and the students knew about it, but a lot of people in the city from my hood didn't know about it because it was being played on, like, rhythmic stations and stuff like that. So That's it hard. was like... It was bittersweet. It was like I was popular as hell in a market that I wasn't from. So it was like I was popular, but then when I come back, they like, she told me when you gonna drop a song, I'm like, you ain't hear what I just dropped. It's, it's out. They like, nah. See, that's why you don't come back. <laughs> just stayed over there. Them people appreciated you. So from from the music, how did you go into everything else that you do now? Um, I always been self-taught on everything. Uh, when I first started doing the music, I had no uh, engineer or producers or any of that, so I, I learned how to do all of that. And um, got good at it and um, just just started doing everything I needed from that. When I needed a music video, I went and bought a camera and figured that out. And you know, when I needed to edit it, I figured that out. And you know, all of those things just built into, I didn't know what I was doing. I, I didn't know I was creating a, um, my version of myself now then. I was just doing it because I, I needed to do stuff for them. People started seeing it and they like, man, I need that done too, and I need that. And, well, shit, know. clearly you a brilliant man, bro. If you could teach yourself how to do all this shit, you one of them ones. Appreciate you it. You straight. Man. Appreciate it. Yeah. How you get in with Boosie? Uh, I was engineering a record for a young scooter at the time, uh, and he had a song he was featuring Boosie on, and um, this was during the time when like internet was playing with Boosie's name a lot. They was he was still locked up. And it was like, uh, like every now and then they'd be like, Boosie getting out. Then he don't get out. So like we had got accustomed to like n thinking it's a prank every time they saying Boosie gonna get out. So when he said he got a song, uh, he gonna put Boosie on, I was thinking it was a dude from the east side. Uh, but Boosie came in the studio that, that day. And when he came in, I'll never forget, I had text my girl. I was like, man, Pop, Pac ain't dead. She was like, what? I told you. She thought I was talking about the real Pop. And I'm like, no. Nah. Um, Boosie and that thing, you know, she pulled up, uh, and we recorded the song, and when I did it, Boosie was just like, man, you the coldest engineer I ever met, you coming with me, and, um, shit, we here seven years later, you know, we've been working since. That's hard. Man. That's hard. What make a cold engineer? Um, you know how to make that shit sound good. I mean, but it's a lot of niggas that, that uh, say that they cold, but what, from a engineer's perspective, do you think make a cold engineer? What, it, what aspects do you think you gotta be cold that to be a motherfucker that a nigga look for in doing music? Your ears. I feel like your ears is the most important thing because uh, everybody can learn how to work the equipment the same way. Um, and a lot of these people, they they go to schools and they talk to do it. and um, I've noticed a lot of them do it the same as that way. And I'm self-taught again uh, with stuff, so I know techniques that they don't know. Um, but at the end of the day, it's all about the finished product. And um, that goes back to what you're hearing when you're engineering. You know, some some people don't hear as well as others. Like I've even noticed in real life, I'll be hearing certain things that other people just don't hear, you know, cause my ears work super well. Uh, so, you know, you gotta have that, that, that I don't know if you can train hearing, I don't know, but that, that ear is what's, what's most important with, with being an engineer. How did that movie come about? Mm, I wrote it in jail. Nigga, when you go to jail? <laughs> God damn. It was, on some, uh, it was like on some petty stuff. Uh, I want to say I had, uh, I was coming from the casino and I called myself pulling over on the side of the road to take a nap. And I didn't know you can't park on the side of the road. And they, uh, I had some, um, I had an open container in the car. Yeah. How long was you in jail to write a movie for open container? So, they had to extradite me. Man, it was a, I, I got strung around for some just petty stuff. The Nigga, whole that's time, a movie. Man. Right <laughs> there. <laughs> but, God damn, look. Yeah, I ended up being there for like, I want to say like two, two and a half weeks, something like that, but, um, I just utilized my time. You know, I wrote movies and wrote music and, uh, and that was one of the ones I wrote. And 
when I got out, I pitched to the Boosie and uh, he, he wanted it, you know, he wanted to do it. So I wrote and directed it, actually, you know. So did you, you self-taught directing as well? Yeah. How did you look, teach yourself that? <laughs> did you have fuck up? Uh, I just, mean, just, I, just, you know what I mean? Shoot, um, that's a good question. Uh, I mean, I just did it. I just, <laughs> I just did it. I didn't, I, I've never even, I'm just now learning a lot of directors' name in the in the uh, film industry because it's a uh, it's actually a new industry. Um, like I never called myself a director before the people started doing it. I yeah. was just doing it, but um, you know, I realized I was a director, and you know, I, I do my studying and stuff now. I do a lot of YouTube studying, you know, and picking that recently, shit up. Yeah, pick it up, man. Uh, I feel like nowadays there's no reason that the youth shouldn't be able to find out how to do something if they got the passion to do it because everything is so accessible now like it's a how-to for everything yeah yep what's next um movies and music i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep pounding out um i want to put you in a movie i want to put you no in a movie. no don't try to put, put me in no movie yeah. now because yeah. you already you know i already had all my partners and put them in the first and nah, i don't want to be in part two nah, nah, oh, yeah. yeah. so like, no, i don't want to be in the movie and tell you right the one about getting pulled over and going to jail for two weeks nigga. <laughs> I want to be in that. Movie. The movie Let's called two weeks. Two, two weeks. weeks. Two weeks notice. That's the name <laughs> of the movie. Two weeks notice. Two weeks notice. Man, That's the one I want to be in there. I want to play the police officer yeah, and catch you and yeah. make sure you stay in there the whole two weeks. Like, we're going to go ahead and let him out on his own recognizance. No, no fuck, fuck we ain't. We ain't. <laughs> Take the glasses off. <laughs> Two weeks notice. <laughs> I can Two see. weeks notice. Yeah. Nigga in jail for nothing, but nothing. <laughs> in the whole life. Right. Of the and it's the craziest yeah. two weeks in the jail history, nigga. Yeah. They about to shut this right. down. Yeah. It's a, every the ride been being planned right before you came. It's, it's the on the news and everything, bro. <laughs> this nigga got to be in. The, that's the movie I'm telling that's you. Put me in that movie, movie, man. The motherfucking National Guard got to come down. <laughs> All his paperwork get burnt up in the rack. <laughs> he supposed to been out six days ago. He wasn't even supposed to be back here with y'all. Right. He supposed to be in the drunk tank. Hey, all the way. We got to do it. All the way. It's the, that's the movie right there. That took a Percocet from Let's some dental work. <laughs> Left the Damn. casino slit, had okay. this yeah. much liquor. Then, fucked up. Had an open container. That's they exactly what happened. That's I had how the movie split. You leave and you pull over, next thing you know it's me knocking on your window. <laughs> pull the goddamn window down. He's so nigga. fucked up off the perk, though. <laughs> from the dental work. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I said roll a goddamn window down, nigga. Get in the back. They take him to jail with no handcuffs, nigga. Right. Get in the car. Nigga, sleep in the back slob, and you wake up and come to, nigga, you in the jail. <laughs> it's a nigga making a beat on your bed, oh, nigga. Damn. It's another nigga making a shank on the floor. This goddamn long. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Stop yeah. pitching movies, man. Right he and shine, he been and had this shit out in two weeks. He ain't lying. Ha ha Davis playing your part. I know, right? <laughs> nah, hold on, nah, man. We got Nigga got together, Desi man. Banks in that moment. Nah, man. Man. <laughs> nigga don't get no credit for Hell it. Hell no. Lee, we got it on camera. We man. can sue the shit out your ass. We, we wrote that motherfucker. We, we was there. We gotta do something. You Seriously. can't sue Boosie. Come Seriously. on, man. No, no, fuck to a Boosie. Boosie Come don't on, know. man. We gonna, I already gonna did this thing. show, man. We ain't even gonna sue for no money. We gonna make this nigga engineer our album, nigga. <laughs> What? <laughs> sue this nigga for service. <laughs> service is Who's it over two features? <laughs> you gotta engineer both our albums, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. R&B yeah. album we and got And he got to find that 285 South movie. Straight up. Straight up, All man. the way, man. But cause salute to you, brother, and man. Keep Well, they can find you at to reach out and check out some of your music, some of your, your work. Yeah, all across the board. Um, Tone the Goat. T-O-N-E-T-H-E. T-O-N. T-O-N-E-T-H-E. G-O-A-T. Uh, it used to be Young Tone. Um, you got what's your real name? Is it Anthony? Nah, Tone. Tone is yeah. your T-O-N-E? Well, I changed it from Antonio. Oh, I, did, I, I know really, it was Anthony. Yeah. It's Anthony in Spanish. That's his name, too. That's why he Man, named I'm thinking about changing it back, though, because I named my son Junior after me. How the fuck? Tone Junior. No, no. Antonio yeah, Junior. Yeah. You should have named him Tone Junior. Oh, well, it ain't like you stuck with it. That's just right. what you prefer. Yeah. He ain't changed shit. <laughs> 
Where the paperwork at? <laughs> Nigga, you just been telling people that. Yeah, I changed it. No, you didn't. You been lying. <laughs> I wonder who so they So all the women who know Tone, the nigga named Antonio. Don't yeah. do that. No, <laughs> I bet you he went to jail, they went to call that nigga Tone. Go ahead, like, Antonio. <laughs> Antonio, nigga. <laughs> nah, sit your ass down. You ain't going home, nigga. Uh, <laughs> Look, man, we know this is your first time stopping through the black market, but don't let it be the last, nah, man. Nah, definitely. Yeah, keep coming with that shit, man, and salute to you with what you're doing, man. Like, before you go, I got to ask, what's your favorite Boosie song you engineered? Um, I, I want to say, uh, rest in peace of trouble. I want to say, ain't my fault, just because, you that know. That shit hard. Oh, yeah, yeah that's hard. You can but say that. I don't know, man. Like, favorite song that I had fun while wow, engineering it or a song that blew up? No, nah, your favorite. Cause um, the people might not know that one and they need to go listen to it. What it's called, uh, I Cry I, I cry To Keep From Smiling. Is that the name of it? Yeah, I Cry To Keep From Smiling. I Cry To Keep From Smiling. Yeah. Boosie, I Cry, I cry, to, cry to, to Keep From Smiling. Okay. That song right there, I, yeah. That's, you work that's on the blues the album day. too? Yeah, I did the blues album. I, I fuck did, with that. Uh, Do you love yeah. your family? Yeah, that's my shout shit. out to uh, Pokey Bear, man. That was, that was one of my um, like bucket list memories right there. Cause, yeah. uh, my family from Mississippi. Um, what part? Columbus. Come on now. Yeah, you hear me? So Mississippi right niggas there, everywhere. Yeah, I tell you this. You tell me that all the time. Yeah, you do. So that right there, I was big uh, recording Poke Bell, man. But um, smile to keep them crying. That's 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 one of the ones. Get you through a rainy day. Well, there it is, right yeah. there, man. Tone the goat, man. Tone the goat. 85 South, Black Market. We out of here. Man, love, man. Now we got two weeks notice. Serious, we got to work. Two weeks notice.